In this video, we will see how do I build my first job in Talent. We're going to use these three components. And like I'm saying here already, we're going here to use gen row generator to generate and data, tmap to transform it and log row to output and the data to the console. Okay, so let's go to Talent. Open and this example here for you to compare, right? You can always compare with a solution. In this case, I will recreate that in the same job, okay? So the first thing you will do is for yourself, either on in this folder or on job designs itself, select the option, create a job, give the job a name, and you have an empty designer like this, okay? All right, for my case, I will just deactivate in the job. So it doesn't matter, it's in there for the moment and save what I don't have. And the now first step is inserting the components, okay? We left click in the designer and start writing the first components, uh, part of the first component's name, which is T-Row Generator. Double click it so it's inserted. Then I write team map, okay? I press return to insert a team map and I write log R for log row and the log row is inserted. All right, now we can connect these components simply like we did before, this small O, which is here when you select the icon of row generator, you connect that to tmap, and also this small O from tmap, you connect that to a log row. Just in this case, you give, got to give it a name, for example, you can call it transformed uh, data, okay? Now maybe here this input, we want to call that input. Okay, all right, now the first step for the configuration of the components itself, we will start with the row generator component. Double click on that icon. In this case, it takes us to a special editor for this component. And the first thing we have to do here is call uh, what is called a schema, create a schema. By hitting the green plus twice, I insert two columns. The first one should be an ID, an identifier, and the second one a name, a first name. Okay, for the identifier, I want it to be whole numbers, so I select data type integer. And for the second one, I want it to be a, some a string, so it's okay if it is a string already. Right, now for the IDs, we will uh, use a function which already comes uh, with a talent. We can search here and find something which is called numeric.sequence and has three parameters. When we select that, we see uh, the three parameters and their respective suggested values below here, and that's okay. Then for the second column, for the name, we want to create some first name. Talent comes also with a class, it, which is called Talent Data Generator, and it has some um, methods, and one method is called get first name. And this is the one we're going to use here. It doesn't have any further parameters for because from a certain list of first names, it just it takes one randomly. All right, then the last thing we're going to do here, instead of 100 rows for World Generator, we're just going to generate five. We can hit the preview button here on the top right corner to see a little preview uh, on the top and a large preview here on the bottom. All right, that's okay. So I hit the okay button and now this uh, data with this uh, schema is passed to the tmap component. And in the tmap component, what I want to do is transform the data. The first names that we're having here with the normal way to uh, write it with a capital first letter and the rest lowercase, I want to convert that to all uppercase with you, okay? So double click on the tmap icon now. And we have here our input with these two columns and here our output, which is called transform data, but it has not, it does not have any schema yet, okay? So for the output, I want to have it in these two input columns, so I select them and I drag and drop them to my output like this. And there they are. Okay, and now here on the error expression, where it now says input dot name, I want to use a function. Okay, I click on this three dot button here and I could 
either do something if you're already somewhat into Java, simply write two uppercase behind that. Okay. Or the other thing, if you're not very much into Java or Java is new for you, you simply go in the categories and then there is a category string handling. And you can search through the functions and there's one function here at the end of this list, which is called upcase. It's also showing a little description. I will enlarge that a little bit for you to be able to see that better, right? String handling upcase here converts all lowercase letters in an expression to uppercase, right? In a, if I want to use that, I check first where my cursor is placed and then I double click and it's inserting the fragment of code which I need to convert in this case hello to uppercase but I don't want to convert hello to uppercase so I'll delete that and I cut this one here and paste it in the parentheses. Okay right and then also here I get the chance to uh, try that out. Okay I will write some data for myself click on the test and I will see the respective output for this column after applying this small transformation and that looks good so I click on OK and also in tmap editor I click on OK and I click on yes to propagate this changes this schema uh, to our log row component. Okay one last thing we're going to do here now for the logger component is I switch its mode to table so it's better and easier to read on the console what it's actually giving us and we are now ready to execute our job. So switch to the run tab and click on run and we will see five rows come in, five O's come out and here on the console we will now have one output. Okay that's uh, fine so far but if I now want to see also what it's happen what is happening here on this input and stream I could maybe do the following I can copy and paste this logo component place it somewhere here and take this connection this input uh, connector and grab its beginning and switch it over to be the output from logo and the output from row generator pass it to this component Okay, and then I move it a little bit around so it's easier for me in the interface to still see what I'm actually designing here. Give it some more space to the components. Um, given that we have a large screen and then we will see one console output with the original input like you can see here. It's logo three now, right? It's got one Benjamin and two and John. And here it's still got the same values with the only difference that our transformation is being applied, converting the values to all uppercase, right? And that's it basically for what I wanted to do with you to build your first own talent job. Great.